Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we are gonna be taking a look at the newest activity to be added in Red Dead Online, and that is poker. How it works, is it a viable money-making method? Is it the best way to make cash in online? Let's talk about it. So if you wanna play poker, you'll need to go to one of five locations. We'll talk about those in a little bit. But basically what you do is approach the poker table and you press triangle to play. And you'll be given some game details that explains ultimately how poker works. We'll talk about some more details about that in a little bit. But then you have two options. You can host a private game or you can go into a public buy-in, which will cost you $25. So that $25 buy-in is the amount of chips that you're going to get when you start the game. So as soon as you do that, you'll notice that some NPCs will spawn in at the table. And at first, I thought we were going to be playing against NPCs, but as soon as you select public buy-in, which is what I did, you'll be sort of transported to this separate lobby where you will join a table of other players actually playing poker. And that's really cool. Now, when you enter the table for the first time, you'll basically just be a spectator uh, on the very first hand like you won't be able to jump in in the middle of it clearly and it's very cool as you guys can see here everyone is sitting around the table they're participating in the poker game and as if your character's appearance wasn't important enough already with this poker game there's like a lot of little cutscenes, and obviously other players are going to be looking at you so if you're wanting to be dressed your best and have the facial hair and haircuts that you want uh, well, poker will showcase them off quite nicely, as you guys will see. So as you guys can see there, I am at the bottom of the table, and I have $25. That's the amount of chips that I got. So that's the buy-in right there, and there's six people at a table. And it basically works like a normal game of poker. I mean, we'll explain the rules as we go on a little bit, but this is just the first hand that I got right here. Six of hearts, five of diamonds. Not necessarily a great hand, but not necessarily an awful hand either. And once you have your cards, it essentially works like a normal game of poker. Now, I played this in first person and I really recommend it. It looks way better. You can choose to play it in third person if you want. Now, if you were trying like me to look at someone else's cards, don't even bother. The cards don't show up on other people's hands. So like you can't go in third person mode to peer into someone else's hand. Uh, I think that would be funny, but you can't see anyone's cards basically. There's no way to do that. And what I did is I ended up folding during this first hand and I can just watch everyone play out like normal. And what's really cool is Rockstar does a good job of letting you know who has what cards and ultimately who becomes the winner. So in this first game, this individual with the three kings, which is a really good hand, ends up winning $14.60. And when that person wins, it kind of zooms in on their character collecting all the chips. So again, that's why I said it's pretty cool to dress your character up a specific way because all the other people at the table are going to be seeing that. So now we move on to the second hand where I had a pretty good set of cards. I had a king three, of hearts. That's a pretty good suit right there. And what I did on this one is I actually called the maximum bet, which apparently as it stands right now, the max bet you can make is $5. We'll talk about how that I think lets the game play out in a little bit, but $5 is the maximum bet that you can make. Now, even though I had a really good hand, in fact, I ended up finishing with a king high flush. That's a great hand. The other guy at the table had a full house of twos and jacks. That's a great hand. So he ended up winning that. I came up just short. Now, after that, we actually had our first person leave. Now, when someone leaves, you'll actually see their character physically get up from the table, and then that seat will be empty, which is kind of cool. Now, as soon as someone joins, you'll see them sit down, and they'll put their chips on the table, which is pretty cool as well. And then they won't be able to play until the next turn. So a couple of hands went by and I had some good ones like queen three of clubs. And then I actually had queen jack offsuit, but I wasn't able to win anything with those. And my money pile was slowly dwindling down, which can happen very quickly if you lose five or six games in a row. And I was actually down to the last amount of chips that I had and I had a 10 queen of clubs and I decided to go all in with this. I mean, it was do or die. I was either going to get almost $20 back or I was going to go away with nothing. 
And on the river card, I ended up getting a queen, and that saved me. So I ended up taking home the money. And you guys can see when it's your character that collects the money, it obviously showcases your character pulling all the chips towards their pile. So I didn't stay for too much longer. And remember, you can leave at any time. And when you do decide to leave, your character will go through a little bit of a cutscene and an animation. And then a loading screen will take place and you will spawn right outside of the area where that game took place, which for me was in the Bastille Saloon in San Denis. Now let's go back to the table because I wanted to see what would happen if you loaded up a private game, which doesn't cost you any money at the start. So if you want a private game, it gives you the option to invite the players you want and the buy-in is much smaller, only at $5. So that's pretty much the difference right there is you choose the players and you choose the buy-in. So now let's talk about some of the intricacies of Red Dead Online Poker. Uh, this is actually the rules section. It says the aim of poker is to win the pot by having the best cards at the end of the game or by convincing other players you have the best hand so they drop out. Each player is dealt two cards from a single deck. These are known as whole cards and they are kept secret from the other players. Over several rounds, shared cards are dealt to the center of the table. These can be seen by everyone and are known as the community cards. A player's hand rank comes from the strongest five card hand they can make using any combinations of their whole cards and the community cards. We'll take a look at those hands in a little bit. Now, after each set of cards is dealt, there is a round of betting. Players take turns to place a bet in the pot which the other players must match or call if they don't want to match the bet. They must drop out or fold, losing any chance to win the pot. After all betting rounds are complete, the players reveal their cards in a showdown, and the player with the best hand wins the pot. Or if only one player remains, the betting rounds are completed, the remaining player steals the pot, winning it without having to reveal their cards. Now, the difference between public games and private games. Public games are match made together randomly and players are not identified and voice communication is turned off. That's interesting, something I didn't know. If you would like to play with friends, you can host a private table where you can send invites and communicate through the in-game voice chat. In public games, you are unable to play while in a party. If you join a party while in a public game, you will be removed from the table. Interesting. So they basically prevent you from being able to like communicate with others so that you can sort of rig the system. Now, what's interesting is a bet cap that Rockstar has placed on poker. So players have a set number of chips they can bet during each hand. This is known as the cap. Players can play in any way they wish during the hand, but once they have reached the cap, they are considered all in, even if they have chips left in their stack, which I have figured out to be $5, which is relatively small. I'm actually hoping that Rockstar raises that because it did sort of limit the amount of money you could make per each game. The next is called the rake. A rake is a commission that the house takes in exchange for hosting the poker games. The house takes a 5% rake on all pots over 20 chips. So this is basically like the back end that Rockstar takes during each game. And then there's daily limits. So while playing poker, there are daily limits on how many chips you can buy and how long you can play. Once you reach any of these limits, poker will be unavailable to you for a period of time, so head out and enjoy your spoils. So I'm not sure what this daily limit is here to do. I didn't reach it in about the 30 minutes that I played. I wonder if it's to prevent people from making too much money or literally to prevent players from gambling away all their money. It seems kind of weird and I don't know what the threshold is to reach that daily limit, but again, it's something that I didn't run into when I was playing for about 30 minutes or so. Now, if you're interested in the hands that will win you poker, just sort of a quick overview, we'll start from the worst possible winning hand, then going up to the best. The lowest is high card, any hand that does not qualify under a category listed above. So for example, if you have an ace, and no one else has anything higher or matching, you would win. After that, it's one pair, two cards of a matching rank, and three unrelated side cards. Two pair, two cards of a matching rank, another two cards of a different matching rank, and one side card. You've got three of a kind, three cards of the same rank, and two unrelated side cards. A straight, five cards in a sequence of different suits. A flush, five cards, all of the same suit. You've got a full house, three cards of the same rank, and two cards of a different matching rank. You've got four of a kind, which is four cards of the same rank and one side card or kicker. From there, you have straight flush, five cards in a sequence, all the same suit. And you've got a royal flush, an ace, king, queen, jack, and ten, all 
of the same suit, being the best hand in poker. And if you're interested in the rules, you can actually read them before you start playing. I am not an expert poker player by any means, but it doesn't take too long to figure out, that's for sure. And it's relatively slow pace enough where you won't be rushed into really anything. Now, if you guys are wondering where you play poker in game, there are five locations. The first one is in the Saint Denis Bastille Saloon. The second one is at Flatneck Station where you actually run into Reverend Swanson in single player. The third is in the Blackwater Saloon. The fourth one is in the Valentine Saloon. And the fifth one is in the Tumbleweed Saloon all the way out in the desert. So now let's talk about poker. Is this a viable way to make a lot of money in Red Dead Online? I think the answer is personally no. Now, even though poker is a game of luck, there is still a lot of skill involved. Don't get it wrong. Now, because we are playing in a virtual world, there are some things that sort of takes the skill out of it. Like, for example, if you're playing poker at like a, a real life Vegas casino table, you know, you might be able to judge the cards someone has by the things they do or their body language or, you know, the way they look at their cards. You can't really do that in this virtual world. So it does take a little bit of the skill out of it, but there is still a lot of that skill factor there. However, in my opinion, the problem with poker in terms of making money is Rockstar has really limited it. Not only with the bet cap where you can only bet $5 at a time, which really limits the amount of money that you can make per pot, but they also put a daily limit on how much poker you can play, which would limit your winnings altogether. So I think the reason Rockstar added poker is more of a casual leisure thing that you can do to make some money on the side, but also not lose a ton of money as well. I don't see it as a grand way to make a ton of cash, at least as of yet. If Rockstar removes some of those restrictions, maybe I could see poker becoming much more lucrative, but for now, it just seems a nice way to pass the time or enjoy some time with friends and a nice game of cards. But anyways, that is all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. Let me know what you think about poker being added to Red Dead Online. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.